Man, next week is looking awesome. All right, YouTube. Um, so it's a hot mess. And uh, part of the reason why I'm doing this channel is a lot of us don't have garages. Um, so when you got this set up, this set outside, um, you have to come up with creative ways to be able to pull these different projects off. We still got stickers over there that we have not put on to add to the uh, rim decals. Um, we still have the uh, quick shifter here that we haven't put on yet because we still got the power commander three on. So we got to get set up before the rain pulls in. But you see down there, we got to get that gear shifter off there. So I want to get that set up. And uh, I want to get the uh, the new gear shift on with the uh, uh, Dino Jet uh, quick shifter. And uh, so again, once we, what we got here is uh, <coughs> Dino Jet quick shifter. All right, that's that. You also got to have the uh, the uh, quick shifter rod, as you can see. They sell separate. So I'm gonna take my setup right now and match it up so that I can uh, trim what I need to trim and, and make these the right lengths that I need to make them and get it all set up. Here's some notes that I had to send a uh, dyno jet. Uh -huh. So uh, let me get that PC3 off so we can uh, send that back in. Dyno jet will charge you $200, $199 to send your old uh, uh, power commander in and then, um, and then they'll uh, send your power commander five and you don't have to pay full price for the power commander. So moving forward. get everything set up um, just like this what I want to do is get a quick measurement from here to there and make sure that um, my linkage and everything hooks up there's something going on with this setup right here um, so let me get it all screwed in and then uh, let me get it all screwed in and then we'll do a, a mock fit. All right, so the first problem that I encounter is this. I can't, maybe I can, nope, nope. So if I screw that in, I still need a, um, female connector on this end instead of a male. So I'm going to need a female connector on this end. I can run the wire down the line here and then around uh, the shifter point, shift point along with this wire and, and we can work something out that way. Meanwhile, I got to get a, another uh, a female a female uh, in instead of a male in. So let me take this off and all right, so it's like this. I'm headed down to A and A Auto Sales so I can get a female uh, connector to go on there. Right now, I got a male trying to hook up to a male; it won't work. So let me go down here and see if I can't get the right uh, setup here. So this is how I do it. Uh, the good old folks down here at A and A Auto Sales always make it happen for me. So let's see if we can get this part and uh, be on our way. So that absolutely positively did not work, which leads me out here to the house of Kawasaki. You know, folks out here at the house of Kawasaki might be able to do me a solid. Let's find out. So, this is what ended up happening. Long story short, I got the quick shifter. <clears throat> when you get the quick shifter, you also have to get the shifter out, right? All that's cool because you replace them with the stock OEM setup you like. The only problem is when you go from your stock OEM setup, uh, you're gonna run into this problem. I got a 04 GX10R, it's the factory setup. If I had the factory setup still on there, we wouldn't be doing this. We'd already be down the road somewhere. So I don't have a factory setup. I got an aftermarket. In fact, I went with CNC uh, rear adjustable set. Right here, that's the orange one that you see on the bike. So, anytime you start making modifications to your bike and all that, this is what you need to know. Things change. 
on the bike is the setup as is. It's a male uh, setup, so you can't screw a male into a male. You need to have a female, uh, I forgot what this is called, but that connected right there. They said it was stuff all the time. Anyway, they don't have that. <coughs> they made, from two different bike shops, made a suggestion to go to Ace Park and run around all day. And I'm tired. But what happened was, while well, I'm down at uh, a and Auto Sales, Mouse came up with this uh, this little fitting right here that we'll screw in. And on the bike, uh, this should screw into this end. The problem is I gotta cut this off right, because it's modifying another mod or another modification if that makes any sense. Yeah, I have to modify a modification to add this new mod to my bike. So what I'm gonna end up doing is shaving this off a little head off right there because there's no threads in there. But if you look down in there, you can't see, but it's got threads all the way up to this part. That's just enough to make this modification work. So, if you got the regular setup, cool. Continue to watch and rock and roll, man. You don't have this problem. But I gotta get the Power Commander 3 off so I can get the power, so I can get it sent off, so I can get my Power Commander 5, so I can get all this back up. But first thing first, let's get the shift in here up and get the wires ran and get the and you know throw in that order so we can get the uh uh <coughs> power commander three out of there and that's why I get my power commander five back we install it and we just and we go to town all right um, so bear with me I'm gonna split the thread length and then I have about the same about exposed threads going into this here. I'm going like that. Mock fit everything and then uh, get my red Loctite at around it somewhere. This is screw into the, uh, uh, the shift linkage itself. This is screw into the foot pad. This is how it's going to be. I'm going to screw this in and there. my coupler here tighten everything up and uh, see if we uh, got some shit alright okay, what I'm going to do is mock fit everything make sure everything lines up I don't have to make any adjustments then I'll lock everything down with red lock tight like I did before and that's what we have with it We're hooked up. Uh, that worked out. That is my uh, modified piece. Um, I'm gonna leave everything hooked up like this. It's just mock fit. I gotta go back and put a lock nut back here, okay? And I gotta lock everything down with red Loctite like I did before. And uh, this is where the wire will run um, along here. I got some. Um, I might actually use electrical tape. Uh, take that back there and then run it up until we find the spot up back behind. Uh, I'm getting ready to take all that off, so bear with me. Here's the Power Commander uh, 3. Let's get all. Let's get all off what we need to get off here real quick. I'm, I'm going to keep going until the rain comes, so let's see how much I can accomplish. Anyway, Power Commander. Alright. That's where this has been setting at. Alright. I'm going to have to get this all disconnected from here. Disconnected. There's a wire coming off of here that's been spliced that goes to the battery, the negative side of the battery. Uh, the rest of the plug-in speed the power to the Power Commander. Um, saying all that to say, I'm going to have to take the entire air box off. So this is part one. We are uh, getting ready to remove the Power Commander 3 so we can send it off to get the Power Commander 5. Once we get the Power Commander 5, we can uh, run our wires from our quick shifter up to the Power Commander 5. And, and then we'll uh, get into some good road racing. Until then... 
I'm gonna go until I can't go no more. It's just like that. And you don't have enough room with those ducks in the way to get that out real simple like. So, uh, I got the quick shifter hooked up. So this can finish disconnecting this and I'll send it off this. So, stay tuned, man. Part one, uh, part two coming up soon. Man, thanks to YouTube. Okay, so what I ended up doing was disconnecting this uh, pigtail right here. And uh, Power Commander just plugs in to the pigtail. It's that simple. That and the ground wire that you take off from the battery. And uh, I'm getting ready to disconnect the battery so I can get the uh, pigtail through there, but thinking that's pretty much it i'll keep this connection here because i don't know i don't know what that's all about but i can just hook that into my new uh, power commander if need be uh, i don't know we'll see man until you take that battery out you cannot get these uh there's no way to get them through there so take the battery out and you can get your um, pigtails up out of there all right so it is official as of today uh, we got the our quick shifter um, uh, installed. I'm about to go back and see if I can uh, cut my, uh, my my regular rod so that I don't have to do all this. Um, matter of fact, let me go get that real quick. All right, so I'm looking at it, and um, I probably could have cut this um, uh, shift linkage, but by the looks of it, I was still going to have to make some weird modifications in order to make it work so I think I'm going to uh, leave the hook up to set up the way it is and come back and lock everything down with red Loctite so what's the fifth one? the uh, Power Commander 3 Power Commander 3 is a done deal alright so now that we got the Power Commander 3 unhooked we got to send this off to uh, Dino Jet uh, we'll get a discount it's going to be 200 bucks to get the uh, Power Commander 5 uh, once we get the Power Commander 5, we'll hook it up the same way that we unhook the Power Commander 3. Then we'll worry about routing our wires to the Power Commander 5 at that point in time. So, uh, this is part one of the, of the quick shifter installation on the 04 ZX10R. Uh, we'll get back to part two when I get the, um, uh, the new Power Commander in. We'll get back to part two and probably do some more um, touch up with stickers and paint, that type of thing. So, until then, say goodbye to Power Commander 3. And say hello to the Quick Shifter. Uh, my latest modification on this 04. So, um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll see when the uh, uh, when the uh, PC5 comes in, the PCV comes in. All right, man. All right, so here we go. So, long story short, this is going to be a short video today. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video, and uh, the reason for that is because we've been getting into some good um, road racing, and uh, the competition has been uh, my 04 ZX10R against uh, a couple of um, GSXR uh, 1000s, um, a couple of the smaller bikes, I can't compete with that. Uh, for the newer bikes that I've been running against. They've had some pretty close races. Um, nobody at this point that I've been running against got a quick shift, so we're, we're a little bit behind. So this, this channel is for all the uh, homies with the older bikes. Uh, if you want to upgrade, that's what this uh, video is about. So what took place was not too long ago, I ordered a quick shift uh, from Dino Jet. And I ordered that quick shift because that's the competition, that's the competitive level that we're on at this point, is that uh, having to use that clutch and having to use your foot and, uh, you know, having to disengage the throttle. Um, you got a trifecta going on to make shit happen. You got a trifecta going on to make some stuff happen. Um, so, we want to eliminate the use of the uh, having to back off the throttle, roll off the throttle, and we're going to eliminate having to pull in on the clutch. Dino Jet uh, Quick Shifter. Um, it's going to allow the ECU, uh, the Power Commander will send the um, signal to the ECU to shut down the timing, mission timing, the um, fuel input, and all that for X 
amount of uh, milliseconds, like five milliseconds or six milliseconds from the uh, factory. So, <coughs> when I ordered that power commander, I mean the uh, quick shifter, as you can see here, PCV, which is uh, Power Commander 5. So, this Dino Jet Quick Shifter is for the Power Commander 5. The Power Commander 3, as you see right here, is an obsolete. So, if you're trying to hook up a Quick Shifter and you only have a Power Commander 3, like I have or had, um, you're going to have to disconnect the Power Commander 3. Dino Jet's got something set up for you right here. I'm on the website. Um, and this is how it starts off. Uh, if your product is no longer within a warranty period or physically damaged, you can offer you a customer loyalty discount and replace your device. Upon receipt of the unit return, we will immediately sell you a discounted um, replacement. Use the general process the same day and return is received and include free uh, return shipping with US time mail. Um, the offer would replace or upgrade your unit, a brand new retail package power commander uh, for $199, which is priced substantially lower uh, below the normal be the wholesale cost. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Alright, the thing is, we're going to need to upgrade. The thing I want to share with you before I get rid of this power commander, so I put it in the, here's the packaging, we're getting ready to say goodbye to the power commander 3. We're going to but the thing with the Power Commander 3 that I, that I like a lot, uh, some of these SmackDown competitions where we had close races, I was able to, um, you can hit these three buttons when you power your bike up. And if you're holding these down and you power your bike up, uh, once you uh, turn it on, you can adjust your low uh, RPMs on your uh, low, mid, and your high range RPM. Right? That's what I like about the Power Commander 3. You can't do that with the Power Commander 5 without going back in, hooking up to your laptop, and then uh, selecting a map and that you have preset. So what's about to happen since I'm not able to do this anymore, um, and I don't even know what the map looked like even when you set it on the fly like that, uh, I'm going to start experimenting with some maps um, so I can adjust my Power Commander 5 to a uh, different race, uh, you know, racing setup. Because I'm able to drag race my bike at this point and I'm able to roll race and, and do it pretty damn good. So, we're going to upgrade to the Power Commander 5 and this is how you do it. So, if you want to take advantage of this offer, please uh, provide the required information that you belong and, and they can, they will uh, issue a return ticket uh, for the product. So, complete name, ship address, best contact number, uh, phone number, email, uh, make, model, year, vehicle. Dino Jet part number, serial number, which I gave them all the information. Um, uh, you know, uh, approximate current Dino Jet product has been in service. Um, so, I wrote Dino Jet, Dino Jet, that is. Alright, so I told them my number, I just wanted to put in there. Oh, and my modifications have been made. I have KNN air filters so that I can probably slip on. System, but the 04 comes with a full titanium system, so I have no reason for that. Um, the product is still working fine after more than 10 years. I recently purchased a Dynojet Quick Shifter and needed uh, instructions on uh, installation to the Power Commander 3. Found out you cannot do that. These are fine. And that's when we sort of networking. And so, they gave you a return authorization number. Here's the Power Commander 3. One in the box. I send this back to them. They'll send me um, instructions on uh, payment once they receive this. And then uh, I'll give them the payment. They'll send me back my Power Commander 5 with my map that's already in here. That's already set up. The K, uh, KEWP uh, team that's already in there to transfer over. And even if they don't, I still have that map on my laptop. Uh, like this one, my other laptop. So, moving forward, let's get this. I got stumped uh, because different bikes come with different power commander setups and this is pretty simple. This pigtail, you unplug the pigtail up underneath the gas tank on the right hand side. Uh, you plug one end into the other end, all the going to whichever end. This little bit to here hooks up to the, the negative terminal on the battery. I don't know what this does, but hopefully my new one comes with the same setup. Um, it's not. 
all of this is like, hey, nothing has been sliced, nothing has been cut at all. This is to get these uh, pigtails here, uh, this is whatever this does, and then that goes to your battery. I should be able to plug that in and, um, and um, set uh, a map for where I want to ship that and all of this stuff. But this is only part one. Uh, we'll get back to part two when my uh, other parts come in. Now, all the boys I've been running with, I'm about to get in the business. So, uh, hey, bitch, all you guys, I'm gonna have to step the game up, man. Uh, it's just unreal, okay? Quick tip to our friend Five on his way. We'll get this in the mail tomorrow. Uh, and uh, we'll get back to y'all with another video ASAP.